Django1911 here. Hello and welcome to my channel. We are going to be taking a look at this knife. This is a Shirogorov F111 flipper. Shirogorov, if I'm gonna be taking a guess because I haven't really, you know, don't know much about him, but as the name would imply, he's definitely going to be Russian. Russian designs in general, they're basically function over form. They need to function first before they can implement what form it's going to be taking. It's going to be taking. It's going to be taking. So it is very functional. They do not care what it would look like as long as it's going to be doing the job efficiently, very efficiently. This design of the knife is no exception. Shiro Gorov or Shiro's is probably a very expensive knife. You know, it's a custom knife coming from Russia. This design is of Shiro Gorov design, design and it is called the F111. F111 in US terms would be the F111 Nighthawk. No, 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 sorry. That's the F111 Aardvark by General Dynamics, the swing wing one. I was thinking of the 117, sorry. So, just one look on this knife, you would see that it's more of a piercing, piercing knife. The end on that blade is very thin so that it would be piercing like butter on whatever things you would need to be piercing. The thickness on this one is just about right. It is not so thick that it's overkill and it is not so thin that it would be bending anytime soon. That thickness would serve this knife well plus it is compact and very handy blade on this knife would be D2 hollow grind stone washed stone washing is what you would expect on Chinese knives very nice pattern on the stone wash the scales are both titanium so is the pocket clip this the pivot screws and the hardware this the spacer is also titanium uh, the hardware and the pivot screws and all the screws would probably be 420 HC stainless steel. So no rusting on those hardware. Titanium frame lock. And the lockup on this knife is, I'd say, perfect. You know, A bit earlier, it would be okay, but this one, I'd, I'd take it. It's already very good. No lock stick, you know, it doesn't stick anything. So the blade just comes back. Not as smooth, but it goes down as you try and force it in just by action. The flip action on this knife is very fast. You know, the design, it's when you design a flipper, there's like, of course, the tightness on this one. If the bearings, if your bearings, this the bearings here are, are rusted, it won't be as smooth. But there are some knives that are really just fast flippers. This is one of them. It's probably a fast flipper because there's not much weight. I mean, the blade doesn't have much area. It does have the chunkiness necessary for it to function well. But it doesn't have that much 
material on the blade so it doesn't need to build momentum it's just when you flip it it's there and the sound on this knife is just different of all the knives that I have this knife sounds like solid 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 it's like more it doesn't have the echo or a twang it's more like thud but uh, not a clang but you need a tuck. it's a solid solid sound without the clang both hands this knife fires well except if you hit that frame lock and you can hit it easy with gloves <laughs> the, dia the, the diagonal pattern on the handle the scales are nicely done oh, it's, it's uniform doesn't have touch-ups I mean it's it's been checked out ah uh, there it is the the hardened they say it's not stainless it's alloy spacer but it is hardened so that you won't have sticking on the lock and it's replaceable with those take out those screws and you can replace it Shirogoro F111 flipper Russian Feels compact in the hand. Close fist, talon grip. Clip is in this side, so it feels tight in here. So it looks, feels good. Reverse talon. Left hand, edge out. There's a bit of hot spot here with the pocket clip, but it's still okay. Reverse talon, edge in. Ah, feels good because more or less it's got a traditional straight handle so even with the edge in good feels good close fist close fist not not the thumb resting here close fist edge in feels good how about the other side edge in ah oh, hot spot with this clip here because it's you know when you go there it's a hot spot so but you can get away with it as long as it's in the fold you know it's in the crease of your palm so it's actually just resting there good and with the closed fist you still have good purchase on this knife on the reverse talon edge in and the reverse talon edge out feels really good as well so how heavy are you Shirogoro F111 6.5 ounces 0.41 pounds 187 grams 0.187 kilograms 6.5 ounces 6.5 ounces for a knife this size is well it's a bit heavy but for a comp for its compact size it's just built like a tank so forgive it for being heavy because you also got the advantage of it being robust and look at that shape it's a classic shape pointy pointy very stealthy with a groove I don't know what that is, blood groove but it doesn't have that on the other side
pocket clip is titanium and it's not low carry but it's just so classy I'm sure I can carry this knife no problem although it's a little bit heavy but the overall footprint is very much concealable this adds traction very good you know, it doesn't want to fall off your hand because you have traction with this pattern so mr shiro goro of f111 how sharp are you factory edge i haven't done anything with this edge let's just see how sharp you are it could be sharper I can hear the edge biting some smooth you know so there are some some parts that are smooth and then there are also parts on the edge that needs to be properly you know just a touch on the sharpener and this would be cutting paper razor sharp but as is this is how it cuts I really have no problem, you know, with with knives that doesn't come razor sharp. You know, because I can you can sharpen it as long as you know what you're doing. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're just gonna be adding the dullness to the blade. So this one, a few few touches on the Sharpener, I'm sure I can get this to be razor sharp, but for now I'll just be leaving it as is. And there you have it, folks. This is the Shirogoro of F111. I hope I'm not wrong in saying that. Russian design, very functional design, a very robust design. It just reflects how you know the character also of a Russian. Russian anything Russian anything I mean airplane design tank design they just do it with, with practicality and they really have really really aerodynamic airframe as evidence of the SU-35 and Sukhoi SU-35 that's one kick-ass plane anyways that will be it and I hope you like the video we're touching on the Russian guys. I, I hope, did I say that I like the Russian designs? I do. They're just, they don't care about anything else but for it to work. So hope you like the video and I do appreciate the support. Keep them coming. And as always, I will be seeing you guys the next time.